All right, you already know, you already know, man. All things sports and entertainment. So Caleb Williams, who I just recently made a video for the Chicago Bears, will he be the next Patrick Mahomes? Caleb Williams uh had is we already on week two. The Bears won last week in a, a pretty close game, but a, a play last night, Sunday night football against the Houston Texans. And you know, the, the unfortunately the Bears end up losing 13 to 19 against C.J. Stroud and the, the Texans. Now, Caleb Williams threw, uh, he went 23-37, 174, and two interceptions. I don't think Caleb Williams has even thrown a touchdown yet this season. The defense won the previous week, and, uh, you know, this this time, you know, Caleb threw a couple of balls. Now, you can make the argument people have been dropping balls, some of the wide receivers, but I'm, I'm the real question is, is Caleb Williams a franchise quarterback? We don't know. We don't know. I think a lot of times as fans and the media, you know, they make they make it seem like you can immediately go to the NFL and and, and start playing. And while some quarterbacks can, majority struggle. It, it takes time. It's only his second game. But because Caleb Williams told people, oh, I don't get nervous before a game. And Caleb Williams told you he was going to be a star. People are just running with that. But, man, the speed is totally different. This ain't college. That's just like with Shador Sanders holding the ball too long. You're going to get killed. i seen Caleb a couple of times. He holding that ball and uh, taking all them hits, man. He ain't going to last a, a season doing that. But that's something that he's going to have to learn. You know, yeah. You out there waving your phone with your pink nails and all of that. That's cool. But when you get on that field, it's a totally different level. So honestly, how we say, are, are we are the Bears a playoff team? I, I don't know, man. You know, it, it all starts and ends with your quarterback. I don't care how good the defense is. But this is his first season, man. And I understand with the league now, you only get like a year and a half before they cut you because they know the, the big contract is coming up. But somebody like a Caleb Williams, you got to give him a little bit more time. You know what I mean? Like at least, at least give him a season. Same thing with Justin Fields, right? When we had Justin Fields the first time, I mean the first time, when we had Justin Fields, it, you could tell that first year, man, it, it got so bad. I had to turn the game off sometimes, but now look at him with playing for Pittsburgh. You can tell he's used to the game. So you got to get Caleb Williams time, man. You can tell he out there. He frustrated. He confused. He running for his life. Man, this ain't USC, man. You can't go out there and spin around and throw the football backwards and think you're going to necessarily make a play. That's not how it work in the league. And you can tell he's a, he's he's still getting adjusted to it. So I don't want to call him a bust yet, but you know, people are already saying that. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.